Welcome to the Alamany High School podcast. This is episode 35. I am your host today, Angelo DeVito, with me, my co-host, Trinity Connor. Hi guys, what's up? So, how have you guys been doing in volleyball? Um, we've been doing really good. We just came from two tournaments. One was this past weekend, and, which we won, and another was a Vegas tournament, which we also won, against Gorman High School. Um, the last tournament this past weekend, Anna had 19 aces, 25 kills, 18 digs, and Tia had 22 aces, 11 kills, Lindsay 85 assists, and Samara 30 kills. So it was a pretty good tournament for us. Wow, sounds like your team is stacked. You guys are 22-0 and 0 so far? Yeah, 22-0. That's, that's a pretty good start to a season. Yeah, man. Getting that banner. So with all these early tournaments, are you guys going to get tired out before season actually starts? Um, I don't think so because our girls are working even harder every single day. So I think we're just going to keep going right ahead and be very energetic just like always. Very cool. So do you guys have any upcoming home games you want to announce? Um, our upcoming home game is actually one week away. It's going to be next Thursday. So turning around to you, how is water polo going? Uh, pretty good. We've played uh, seven games so far. Uh, five have been in a tournament this past weekend, which is the Canal Classic. It's called the biggest tournament in Southern California. Uh, we play the most competitive teams down here. Uh, we went two and three. Uh, granted, losing record, but we still play sixth out of Division One in 16 teams. So uh, Jack had 20-plus uh, saves on Friday, 15-plus saves on the first two games on Saturday, JP had 12-plus goals each day. Skyler had 20-plus steals. I mean, we're pretty pretty set for the season. Uh, still trying to get the hang of things with the new coach and everything. Very small team, very young team. Uh, just trying to get everything back. We do have a few upcoming home games. Uh, the end of the month, the 28th of September, we have Birmingham at home. Uh, so be sure to come out to that game. The following Monday is our biggest rival game of the season. We have Crespi at home. Uh, they're coming to win, but we're going to put up a front, and we're definitely going to try and beat them. So be sure to come out to that game. It's a bit far away, but our senior night is October 25th. It's against Cleveland. So be sure to save that date. Hopefully come out, support the seniors. It'll be a fun night. Also, I have one more question. So how long was the tournament? So the tournament was Friday to Saturday. Uh, we played two games on Friday, which was against El Camino Real and then against Westlake High School. Uh, that day we went one and one. Saturday we played three games. We played Rio Mesa, uh, Buena Park, and then we played Moore Park, which we actually play them again today. So that game will be at 315 at Moore Park. If any of you guys are out there, please come and support us. We definitely would love it. But, I mean, like I said, we went two and three, so good start so far to a season. Sounds like it. Sounds like a really good start. Speaking of today, we have the first play of the year called Spy School, and with me today is Sabrina. So, hey, what's up, Sabrina? Hi. So, tell me a little bit about the play. What is it about? What does it entail? The play itself is basically called Spy School, and it's mostly about um, a teenage girl who goes undercover into a high school, and she has to find a date for the prom, the biggest dance of the year. <laughs> and she has to find someone who is trying to kidnap an astronaut, but you have to go see and find out who the bad guy is. So what role do you play in this spectacular play? I play Natasha Sparrow. Uh, she's a secret agent. She's also Russian. So <laughs> if you want to see a pretty good Russian accent, you should go watch it. Very cool. All this acting, do you want to pursue that onto Broadway or in the movies? Oh, that would totally be, like, super fun. But um, I actually want to be a teacher. Um, maybe acting on the side would definitely be something that I'd like to do. But I'd like to focus on, you know, getting a, a degree first. And then maybe do some acting as something for fun. Very cool. Smart choice. And I also understand you are in the cinema club? I am actually president of Cinema Club, and we plan to have lots of movies coming up, uh, maybe once a month, try to play some classics in the theater. Um, it should be a family-friendly event. Everyone should come watch a, a nice movie, a classic movie, with their friends, their family, 
try and support the cinema club and try to get some gear. It'll be pretty pretty cool. So out of all the movies you guys play throughout the year, what would be your favorite classical movie? Classical movie. That's a hard one. Um, I have to think. It'd probably be a horror film, but I just can't like really pinpoint which one because there's so many good ones. This is a hard question. <laughs> um, oh, we actually watched one for DJ's Cinema Club, who was like the president last year, and that one was really good. I forgot what it was called. Oh, Forbidden Planet. It was super good. It was different because you get to see all the progress that we've made with CGI and how they had to like handcraft their their creatures and how bad their um, the effects were, and it was just. I feel like it was more, like, innocent. It was an innocent film, and there's nothing really uh, they could go wrong with it because it's, like, it's barely starting off. I've never seen the movie, but I heard it's pretty good, so I'll definitely try to check that out. You should definitely check uh, it out. Now, for other kids trying to join Cinema Club, do you guys have meetings that they can possibly go to just to try and get into the club? We are trying to set up uh, the club as a whole right now, and we're getting all the movies together, so probably when everything is all set up, we'll start announcing it more, see who wants to join, try and have, you know, group meetings, what's, what works best for everyone. So putting that all aside, it's senior year. How is college apps going? Is it stressful? What are your take on it? Senior year is pretty overwhelming. Um, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Now, hearing from everyone else, it's a super laid back year, but um, I feel I'm involved in a lot and college apps are definitely really hard, especially like if you're applying for scholarships and loans and yeah, it's stressful, but I mean, I'm getting through it. So what are a few of your top college choices right now? Um, As of right now, I want to go to CSUN because they have a really good teaching program. And my plan is to go to a UC Irvine because I know they have a teaching program. So hopefully sometime this month or next month, I'll go see the campus and if I like it. Very nice. So do you have any other expectations for the year? Any like moments that you can't wait for? Oh, I am definitely ready for the spring musical. Uh, We definitely put a whole bunch of work into that. It takes a good three months to put it together. And we have to learn dances, sing, singing, and um, all the acting, of course. But it's definitely a huge process, and it's super fun. We come all of spring break, we rehearse our butts off, and we dr- we just try and put on the best show we can for for you know everyone to see. Yeah, that's 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 the main thing I'm looking forward to. We don't really know which musical it's going to be yet because Miss um, A normally picks them, and then she tells us like during Christmas time. And we can't really disclose information when we find out. You kind of just have to go with the flow and see what's going to happen. I'm also a little like, kind of like a suspense kind of to yeah. see it. Yeah, it's Very definitely cool. a suspense. Um, it's a suspense for us, too. We've been trying to figure out what it's going to be. Try and persuade her to do another musical, but <laughs> we don't know yet. That's awesome. So be sure to keep an eye out for that spring musical. Uh, Sabrina is very suspenseful about it. So be sure to keep an eye out. Ticket sales will go up soon, hopefully. And I understand she does have a few dates that the listeners must keep note of, so I'll let you take it away. Our opening night is today, the 14th, at 7.30, and we have another 7.30 showing at on the 16th, and a matinee per- performance on the 17th. And the next weekend, it is the 22nd, 23rd, at 7.30 p.m., and another matinee on the 24th at 2 o'clock. So be sure to make note of those dates. Go out, show support to the theater club. Uh, I know they really love all the support that we give them. Their plays are always fantastic. The theater never disappoints anyone who goes and watches. It's definitely one to see. Uh, Be sure to come out today, support the theater. I know they put a lot of hard work, and it shows through their acting and singing. So be sure to come out, support the theater. And thank you, Sabrina, for being here today. Thank you for having me. This is Angelo DeVito signing off of the Alamany High School podcast.